Hey everybody, welcome back to another stream of Evil Genius. Uh, hopefully this stream won't get interrupted. Uh, my landlord has come by later, but Fatima should be taking care of that. So let's let's get going with the game. Uh, where did we leave off last week? Uh, Forces Justice and Disarray. What? Uh, what was that in reference to? I I don't know. It's just not even on the list now. Okay. Well, I know we just finished putting down all of the uh, the diplomats. We finished the diplomat thing. We are one point of notoriety away from uh, the knockoff of Rambo showing up. We still have not killed a single uh, super agent because although we're able to kill two of them, they refuse to show up. I think uh, that person is heat. Whatever. At least they don't have any loot. There's not much we can do about it now. Uh, the only one who showed up didn't get psychologically weakened. They just kind of wasted time wandering around. So yeah. Um, I think there's nothing we're going to be able to do to not run into Rambo this episode. So I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet and do it. Because the next main objective is getting the... Uh, Getting the resources. We need, like, petroleum and diamonds or something. Let's double check that. And do we have any optional ones? Defeat. Okay, yeah, it's just killing the people. Okay. Which we just need to kidnap them at this point, so we need them to come to our island for that. Okay, yeah, building the rocket superstructure takes a variety of different resources. Rocket fuel to titanium. Okay. Each, each section requires five crates. Your forces will siphon these resources from huge from each facility as long as they're able and the message bar will inform you of when you have enough resources. Yep. So I need to pay attention to the message bar. Alright. So they jackhammer our base while we do this. So we're going to want to recall most of our people from the world. We're, we're quite wealthy right now actually so I'm not too worried about that. We're going to want to recall most of our people from the world so we have a lot of people at hand back at base to take care of whatever crises might occur. So stealing from Saber territory sounds really appealing to me right now because they're one of the few territories that don't have a super agent active right now. In fact, they're the only place we can steal from right now that we have marked off that doesn't have a super agent. So I think we're going to yeah buy out uh, the loggers. Uh, Diamond Mining Incorporated. Five guards, four mercenaries, two quantum physicists. Okay. That's a scientist. This is a quantum physicist. Said five guards, four mercenaries. And uh, five guards. Okay. And we're going to start taking people from the rest of the world over here. We're also going to use some of these guys to help with our uh, heat reduction. Okay, and I think I want to bring all of them as well. Actually, not all of them. I just want to bring the valets over. There we go. To help with heat reduction. Okay, as soon as we have the people over there, we're doing that mission. Uh, we're going to have to be really careful. Either in that, keep it safe back at base. We have all these people marked. It's looking like it. We can unmark him, in fact. You're marked. Okay. Let's do a quick sweep to make sure there aren't any threats on the island that aren't already marked off. It looks like everybody is. Okay. We don't have many people on the island right now. It's one of those things where we don't have a whole lot of heat, so we're not going to get a whole lot of people. At the same time, we are near the end of the game, and so naturally, like, the bar has been raised. They do send in more and more people as the game goes on, and more and more dangerous people. So, let's check this out. Rocket, uh, the rocket superstructure features many small components that have been designed and manufactured with great precision. Send some minions to the Delogger's Diamond Corporation headquarters in Prestoria, South Africa, and make the CEO an offer he can't refuse. The diamonds used to focus the high-intensity laser will be shipped back to the island in crates and stored in your freezer. Okay, we have plenty of room in the freezer, right? Yeah, okay. 
first time on the Evil Genius stream, didn't uh, have time to catch up. Uh, what's the thingy in the middle? This is where we're going to be building the rocket for the end of the game. Right now we're gathering supplies for it. That's our next, our next main mission thing. So we're getting the diamonds from here. Uh, this is top secret ore mine. Incredibly rare ore. Now, I don't remember if we need every one of these things. Oil. Yeah, we need that. This is titanium. Yeah, I think we do need all of these then. Now, I think we have all the things we need marked off already. I don't think we need to go plotting in any more places. But if anybody just has a wiki page open on the side to help me with finding some of the plots, you know, I'd appreciate it. I think I have all of them found here. I say that, it wouldn't surprise me if one of the ones I need to find is in Patriot territory, just because every other territory or country's um, territory is represented here, except for that. Thanks for the 14 bits, Alpha Clone, I appreciate it. And thanks for following Alpi Lovecraft, welcome to the flock, as well as uh, Tubby Squirrel and the Blue Scoop. Holy shit, a bunch of people followed all at once. Hope you guys enjoy the stream. Oh, and uh, before anyone goes thinking I'm drinking, like, pop or something, this is, uh, iced coffee. Fatima just made me one on her way home from work. Well, at work, and then, you know, came home with it. I'm not a huge iced coffee guy, but it's alright every once in a while. It's a hot day. Who's fighting? <laughs> what the fuck? Hammer and Smash are fighting each other. Okay, I guess they have an issue. I've I can't remember ever seeing this happen before. Man, they're getting heat because she's attacking them. We're getting the heat for that. What the fuck? Come on, man. More troops are gonna get sent to our island because of that shit. Okay. All right, we're doing the mission. We're gonna get the notoriety so Rambo could start showing up anytime we get past 290. So I think it's every 15 seconds we're gonna get some of this. Good evening, and welcome to the yep. Southern African Nightly News Bulletin. Today's headline is a hostile takeover of the largest diamond corporation by an undisclosed company. The previous owners are mysteriously unavailable, and new owners declined to comment. Insider sources suggest that the Lagers will no longer produce jewelry diamonds, instead diverting all its production for internal industrial usage. All right. Final one's Midwest. Thanks for letting me know. I'll go get some plotting done over there. I'll get a regular scientist flying over there ahead of time. All right. Yep, every 15, they're stealing something. It looks like they're getting a bit of death every 15 as well. So, yeah, gonna have fun having to train up new guys. Yep, Dirk is officially active now. New henchmen available for the cause. Holy shit, we're getting uh, notoriety fast now. Okay, now it's getting slower because we lost our science minions there. Okay, uh, yeah, we can get Moko. We can get Montezuma. We can get uh, Nutricide. Oh, we've unlocked the great uh, Mesmero now, who's the hypnotist. Fuck Ivan, we're not getting Ivan. There's uh, the Matron. All right. We have a bunch of them available to us again. Looks like she killed them. All right, get the bodies inside For someone takes a picture of it. New henchmen available. All right, chat. Um, I'm going to let you guys vote on who we bring in. The only new one now that we can get that we couldn't get before is uh, the hypnotist from Australia. We have enough resources to construct part of the rocket, okay? Then you can abort that. Stop doing that mission. God, we got a shitload of notoriety out of that. Ooh. Uh, yeah, the only one I'm saying a hard no on is I refuse to take Ivan because he's just going to blow up our base. Same rules as before. I'll let you guys vote on it, but it's a flat no to Ivan. I don't care if it's a 100% vote on that. Um, all he does is blow up your own base. He's fucking worthless. No way I pick him. 
So, as a reminder on everyone we can pick, uh, there's Moko, who is like pure physical attack or warrior type guy. Uh, we have Montezuma, who's a witch doctor. He takes from a range with like a straw doll that he stabs a pin into. Uh, Dr. Nutricide from Madagascar. I believe she uses like evil perfumes and shit. It's weird. Uh, the Matron, who's the evil granny, who I think bashes people with like a mace hand. Um... Mesmero, who I barely remember, either than being... I think he had decent abilities. Um, Ivan, fuck him. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And let's start moving people to our next place. Um, oh god, five, yeah, five guards for Mercenaries 2. Confis, is that what it is for everything? Yeah, that's what it is for everything. That's a shame. Okay, uh, let me just do a real quick sweep and make sure that everything's fine. And then I'll read the chat again. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Alright, what am I seeing in the chat here? Uh, Montezuma, 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 Moko, Montezuma, Montezuma... Uh, matron, matron, matron. People saying hi to me. Hello, everybody. Um, let me try and count here. There's a lot of Montezuma, and there's a decent amount of matron. I think Montezuma's winning so far. I'm just making sure it's not repeated messages. It doesn't look like it is. I could always make a real quick poll. But uh, I, I could just eyeball it. Unless, uh, unless Ash is still in the chat. I don't know if Ash is still here, but if he's here, he could just make a poll for us. It looks like Montezuma's probably winning. Montezuma's pretty cool. I remember him being pretty good. Uh, I know he was fun, at least. Are you kidding me? They're still fighting each other. Hammer and Smash. Smash agents keep attacking Hammer agents now. What the fuck is going on? God, he's causing a lot of heat. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about having less enemies to deal with because they're killing people, but I mean, I'm cleaning up the body bags here. My freezer's only got so much space. It's pronounced Moctezuma. Montezuma. Is this a meme I don't get? I don't know. Or is this literally like, that is how it's pronounced in a specific language? Moctezuma, now a bunch of people are saying it. Not wrong, I have no idea what you guys are talking about, sorry. Are you talking about like, is that how you pronounce it in Spanish or something? It's the disarray thing again. What's the disarray thing? That's how it's pronounced in English. I don't think that's correct. Uh, I've heard Montezuma my entire life from many, many people. The original pronunciation before the English translation, so that's not how it's pronounced in English. I'm gonna go with the English translation then. I think I'm cool with that. Language is adaptive, everybody. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with that version of it because that is a version that I know for sure is an acceptable version. All right, let's let's switch these people over. You know what's gonna be the worst part of this? Training up new quantum physicists. That's gonna be fucking slow. Because I gotta train it up to three every time, because I can't afford for both of my guys to die. So this is gonna be a slow part. The agents punching each other. Yes, but what is the disarray thing? Like, was that a quest I did that I'm not remembering? I don't know, because I vaguely remember, well, a lot of the flavor text and a lot of them say like, oh, this will break down relations, but I wasn't aware that any of them actually did that, you know? All right, uh, are they actually training one up? Okay, yeah, they are actually training one up. Good, making sure. This is just a regular scientist, right? Yes, good, making sure.
Montezuma is the incorrect way to say Moctezuma, the Aztec emperor that was buttfucked by the Spanish conquistadors. It's still a name, though. I'll put it this way. Montezuma two days. Oh, there he is, uh, Dirk Masters. Montezuma is still a name today. And people call themselves Montezuma. Name many, many names over history, and there are multiple different cultures' ways of spelling and pronouncing it. That doesn't make it correct or incorrect. Now, if that man I was recruiting was that Montezuma, who's dead obviously now, then, ah, fuck, that's, uh, that's Jit Chan? Yeah, that's Jit Chan. All right, we might actually get a chance to kill him here. If it was that individual person, then yeah, absolutely, it'd be incorrect for me to say Montezuma. Um, however, it's not that guy. This guy's name is actually Montezuma. It, it's written right there. You know, it's the name, um, look at the name Fatima. In all different countries, there are different ways to pronounce that name and different ways to spell it as well. Doesn't mean that it's incorrect if a different culture spells it or pronounces it differently. It's just a different culture in a different language, a different variation of the name. Katrina and um, Katarina both derive from the exact same thing. Neither one of them is correct or incorrect. They're they're different names that come from the same root. You know. My name is Madrat. Um, the Latinization of that is Mordred. And uh, Mordred is a more common name. That doesn't mean Madrat is incorrect or Mordred's incorrect because it's a Latin version of an originally Welsh name. Uh, that doesn't mean that either of them are incorrect. They're both completely valid names. So yeah. <laughs> Can we stop talking about this and talk about Canada Post and said, let me tell you about that motherfucking Canada Post. Sorry, I don't have any new fuck Canada Post stories. Or else I would, I would grace you with it. I'm sure it'd be the same it always is, though. I mean, does Canada Post is always on brand on its level of stupidity. Which also means that you never get a new Canada Post story. It's, hey, they fucked up in the same way they fucked up in last time. Because it's Canada Post, of course they did. All right, uh, so we have the people being sent in so we can do the second round of this. I completely forgot. Oh, that's where your handle comes from? I just got that? What? Sorry, I don't know what that's in reference to. Uh, I feel like I'm lost. Sorry, I'm, I'm slightly in panic mode because this fucking army of veterans on our island and I'm like going around trying to fix everything. Mordred bread? Uh, oh, that's not, uh, no, that's not where my handle's from. That's, it's completely unrelated. Uh, my handle is literally a nonsense word a friend came up with in high school. It has absolutely nothing to do with my name. Um, yeah, also that's not how you spell my name. Uh, Madrai bread means nothing. It's, it's literally just, uh, I had a billion nicknames because my name was really hard. Um, cause you gotta remember I'm Canadian, so I'm, it's a French speaking can country. And so people look at, would look at my name and they would think that it's French. And so they have a very hard time with it. Um, because they try and pronounce this very, 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 very old Welsh word in a French way. And so they had a hard time with it. Um, and so I had a lot of nicknames growing up. Uh, and so just as a joke one day in grade 11, I think it was, so I was like 16, um, they, uh, was a friend was just like, you don't have enough nicknames as a joke. And then he just said some noises and we're like, well, that's my new nickname now, those noises. And then we tried to figure out how to spell it to make it the easiest to read. And that's what it came out to. So the pronunciation actually changed over time to fit the spelling. We Because the original spelling was illegible. It was just a noise. There's no real fun story behind my username. It's just... 
It's a nickname that caught on in high school to the point that even teachers called me it, because fuck it, it's easier than my name. Like, my, uh, my law teacher in grade 11 would call me Madrai. Because that's what most of the students called me at that point. It's coincidental that it sounds kind of like my name. It's not proper French, though. What's not... Oh, oh, Canadian French? Yeah, absolutely not. It's not... Well, that's the thing, though. Uh, it, it's not at all like France French, if that's what you want to call proper French. No. Uh, Quebecois is very based in slang. Um, Quebecois is so different from, like, France French at this point that... Um, your average French person, like, from France, probably wouldn't understand... I think they're leaving, because they got untagged. Um, I think your average France-French person, just in case, um, would not understand. Like, if they came to Quebec, I don't think they would understand what the average person here is saying. But it's seeming like people... Um, hi to you. It seems like people mostly went Montezuma, so we'll send a worker over there to hire him. I didn't watch any of the E3 conferences, but I did get some Cliff Notes versions on like what happened. Um, I've been I've been looking into the the new Fallout thing a little bit. Um, Ash has actually been telling me a lot about it, and it looks cool. Me and him are definitely going to stream that together when it comes out. And I heard that there's new Elder Scrolls coming out, so that's pretty cool. Are the Super Agents dead yet? Says Band Geek. No, but we're able to kill two of them, but they won't come to the fucking island. Like, ever since we got the ability to kill them, they just never show up anymore. Because, you know, that's just my luck. Um, Jet Chan is here, and we're able to kill Jet Chan. Is he going to chase him, or is he just going to kill him and then take a picture of the body? That's probably what he's doing. Um, yeah, I think that's what he's doing. Oh, no, he's just tailing him? No, I think he's going to attack. Ah, you bastard. Now he's gonna take a picture of the body bag, probably. Um, if we do get him psychologically weakened, we're gonna kill him here. Because I hate that fucker. I want him gone. Have you kidnapped Jet Chan's master yet? We've done everything. All we need to do is get him in a jail cell. Yeah, I, I am excited for whenever Evil Genius 2 happens. Um, Madanash? I think that's how you want me to pronounce that. Thanks for following, by the way. Welcome to the flock. If I got that wrong, give me the phonetical in the chat. I don't like getting people's names wrong. This is a 100% playthrough, by the way. So we are doing every single uh, act of infamy. Or at least every single one that's not repeatable. And obviously, um, you know, like you can't get every single henchman on one playthrough. So we need to make little exceptions for things like that. Holy shit. A lot of people died right there. Man, our heat's gonna be so bad because of people taking picture of all these body bags. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're not winning that fight. They're just slaughtering our dudes. Because they're a bunch of veterans. They're actually really tough. Man! Oh, that's brutal. Nah, just tag them all for weakening. Fuck, man. That sucks. Okay, do you have all the people you need down here for this? Yeah, okay. They got it going. Hire Montezuma. Red alert? No, that's asking for problems. Yellow alert? Maybe. I will consider yellow alert. Hello, party people. This is Lucia de Gamma, live from the... Uh, it's a heartwarming story I just know you will love. Francesco was the owner of a titanium ore mine in Peru, but he gave it all up for the love of his pet Yama. I love my titanium mine, but when his crook stole my pet llama, there was no choice. I let these bandits take the mine in return for a loogie here. I haven't regretted it one bit. Here, you're safe now. God, this game's got some weird jokes. Alright, we got Montezuma. We're sending him in the henchman locker. We're already down a quantum physicist, but, you know. We're kind of assuming all of our quantum physicists are going to die uh, during this. Yep. 
we're kind of assuming basically most of these guys are gonna die. Yeah. Just just keep it going until it tells us we have enough. Alright, he's getting close to the door. He might notice. Yeah, you're bringing resources back. Good. I don't think we can lose those resources, in case you're wondering. I hate all these fucking body bags out here. This is getting brutal. This part of the game gets rough. Okay, John Steele's been dispatched. Great. John Steele is the James Bond guy. So every single super agent is now active. We're getting to the really hard part of the game because our notoriety is skyrocketing. All right, yep. Having everybody focus on him. You delete all the tags in the area, except for that guy so that they'll swarm him. Okay, I think we'll kill Jit Chan very soon then. See jet stream. All right, yeah, they're all ganging up on him. Good. <sighs> Fuck, we got some really bad deaths here. New henchmen are available yet yeah, because we're getting so much notoriety right now. Oh, I forgot you could get all of the starting guys. Okay, uh, the only one available now is Eli Barracuda then. Let's go get him. I completely thought you couldn't get all three starters. It's weird. I don't know why I didn't remember that. All right, bring that in. Isn't John Steele the one that's really annoying because he can't be defeated? Correct, yeah. He's the only one that you can't kill during the game. He's fucking awful to deal with. Do we not- do we still not have enough titanium? Seriously? Is it because it hasn't been placed yet? I don't even know. Because so much of it's still on the ground because all these body bags that need to be carried. I gotta say, I'm really hating that, uh... Oops. I'm really hating that, uh, these guys are going around just fucking shooting each other. All the agents of justice are killing each other. Because it means that my heat is gonna be really bad. Because the survivors go home and, like, look at that, I have maximum heat there right now. The survivors are all just gonna go, go home and be like, hey, tons of bad shit happened here. Oh, uh, there's the monkey cage. Forgot about that. He can be researched. Uh, you gotta hide. Do we still not have enough titanium? Man, we still don't have enough titanium. They've been stealing it for a while now. We must have enough that just hasn't been carried in yet, right? Okay. Capture him. Someone bring him in. We can kill him off now. I'm so happy to finally have him dead soon. So what we need to do now is we need to interrogate him with the, uh... Let's go get him. You're getting him? I think. I'm not sure. It says he's getting an object. Um... We need to interrogate him with the dojo, and I believe that'll be what kills him. Are you getting him? Yes. Okay, we're escorting him in. Holy shit, we're finally gonna kill him. Fuck this guy. We must have enough titanium, right? We must. I'm gonna just stop at this point. Pull out all people from their territory. Because our heat with them is ridiculous. They must have veterans all over the island at this point. The game gets really brutal right near the end. Okay. 
So this is a low heat run, all right? I know, right? Not much you can do about it at this point, though. You can even say, see, I bought some more guns, just in case we need to go yellow alert. We might need to make another freezer over here, just to carry more of this. Alright, I think I'm actually going to relocate you to a safer room now. Why don't I have a uh, mouse maze in here? What was I thinking? Obviously, I want a mouse maze. It's a really good item. Uh, I guess the devs made that after the diplomat missions, different factions go to war with each other. I don't believe so. I don't believe that's what caused that. Unless I'm totally misremembering, because I beat this game lots of times. When's the next Platinum episode? Um, you can always see my schedule. Uh, my schedule is on the Discord server. Oh god, don't- oh, he is actually breaking out right now. Yep. Well, I maybe got my evil genius out of the room. Is there not a camera in here? He's setting an explosive, isn't he? Great. Cool. This is why this guy is fucking awful. He's gonna knock out our cameras doing this too. Come on, people, get in there, get in there. I could send all my henchmen, but they're probably gonna die. I'll have one of them get over there. God, this is gonna be expensive. Here's what I'm gonna do. Get in there. Use gather minions. Alright, at least he's on fire. But we're out of jail cells now. Shit. Okay, you're you're gonna get knocked down. Get back out. Okay, we knocked him out. He won't be down for long. Fuck, this is why I fucking hate super agents. Shit like this. So our camera feed is all knocked out right now. Get a new, no, security desk please, there we go. I gotta manually go around and put everything back to camera feed one. Oh man, this is brutal. Didn't someone say you can research with the amulet in South America? I believe so. Okay, at least the technicians are repairing what's still in there. Is that the last of the titanium? Toxic chemicals. I don't think that's the right tooltip for that. That doesn't seem like it to me. Really hope they get that jail cell first. I just want this guy dead. Get Eli. Okay, we did find this thing at least. Oh god, he's waking up. Fuck, he does not stay down long. Thanks for uh, following Mad Marco. Welcome to the flock. God, he does not stay down long. Even the martial artist died pretty much immediately on him. Oh, this sucks. He's just planting more explosives. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is the frustrating part of the game. Sometimes you just can't deal with some of this shit. Yeah, he's trying to steal the thing. Smash veterans. Cool. Oh my god. This is bad. Is he replanting explosives on the same thing? He's gonna blow himself up at this rate. Oh, 
God, he does not stay down long enough. Holy shit. This is agony. He one-shots guards. There. At least he's on the ground again. Please be a jail. It is. Oh my god, get those jail cells. Well, you're in that one. Okay, we have a security desk again. Someone get that camera in there. Holy shit. Yeah, good thing I do have that money stockpiled, right? We need to get this guy dead. Fast. Okay, he's in there. Oh my god, I swear to god if he breaks out just immediately again. There. We're doing the interrogation. It's set up. Hopefully he doesn't break out in the meantime. Okay. We don't still need the interrogation chair for anything as far as I can remember. Alright, thanks for following, uh... Oscar Battlebeard, welcome to the flock. Uh, a lot of new follows today, I wonder why. Oh, he died. That, that's fine. He already recruited the guy. I don't care. So we have no one out in the world right now. That's fine. I just want my heat to go down. We have six henchmen in the henchman room. All just sitting there locked up. For when we have a good opportunity. We're gonna watch this fucker die. Let's just real quick make sure every enemy is tagged. They're just shooting people openly in our base. Really hope my people handle that soon. Okay, everybody on the islands who needs to be tagged is tagged. Yeah, we're fucking watching this. We're watching this personally. We poisoned his food so he'll lose. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't I didn't finish saying what I was saying to you, uh, Mad Marco, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you can see my schedule on my Discord server, as well as on um, every single Monday vlog. It's got the schedule of everything that's uploading, especially if you watch- Oh, that looked nasty. Especially if you watch uh, the vlogs, I go into better detail on it. So it's like I explained the, the vlog this Monday, um, every single- um, every, every single, uh, week now I'm gonna alternate between Platinum and Emerald. Emerald with my wife, and then Platinum with What a Geek. So this week was Emerald, so next week will be Platinum, and it'll just keep going back and forth like that. Hey, Oski. Alright, we beat him. There we go. He's done. We never need to worry about him again. Sir, are they just shooting everybody up? Yep. They're just openly massacring people outside. Oh, God. Someone just kill this fucking guy. There. Eli's shooting him in the head. Thank you. Oh. There. God, I do not like how many body bags we've racked up. Are these guys shooting too? They better not be. I don't want to run out of marksmen. They're killing a lot of marksmen. Alright, yeah, they're still bringing in bodies from up here. Looks like they got most of them. Okay. Is my heat wearing down? No, smash heat is still massive. Saber heat's high-ish. Everywhere else doesn't really care about us. Oh man, how about yellow alert? Not yet. Not when we have veterans on the island, because then the heat's never gonna go down. Veterans shoot people with guns on sight.
See you, Armored. Oh man, this is brutal. Yeah, keep training up. Mariana Mamba, let's kill her. Where is she? She's right there. She's just stabbing random saber veterans. Okay. Well, time for tons of body bags. Cause she's not losing that fight. Thanks for the body bags, lady. Let's uh let's get making another another freezer. I think it's safe to say we're gonna need another freezer. A big one. So let's uh Let's just, uh, get that building. Oh, man. How can you kill someone with such a fun name, though? She does have a great name, doesn't she? Mariana Mamba's a pretty damn good name. You're enjoying the new Factorio playthrough with Truth? I'm happy that you like it. I'm really happy to finally get Truth on my show. Truth is just one of those people that uh, like I found him out of the blue one day. It was it was just like a viewer of my show just uh, in on my Discord server is just like, hey, there's this game called Alona Plus. It's it's a cool free game. You might like it. Uh, and I'm like, oh really? What like what's it like? And he is like, well, I watched this guy on YouTube called Truth. This small li the small like let's player guy on YouTube called Truth, and he made this tutorial series on it. And he linked a video. And, uh, Mariana Mom Manbar, that's good. Um, and he linked it, I'm like, okay. I checked it out, and I'm like, shit, this guy's really funny. Like, he just has this really great dry wit about him. And uh, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna fucking message this guy, because I'm, I'm really big on the idea of, if you have any kind of viewership on YouTube, and you see someone who has a lot uh, less viewership than you, but you think is really good, reach out to them. Uh, so... Oh my god, you can't wait for the truth subreddit. R-Truth. I've already made lots of R-Truth jokes to him. Uh, he doesn't- he didn't know wrestling when I met him, but now he's starting to learn more and more bits of it. Cause, you know, everyone I meet, I teach about rest. I teach wrestling too. Um, but he's just one of those guys where I, like, I just reached out to him and I'm like, Hey, like, I saw this series of yours, like, a, a fan- uh, we have a mutual fan, and I just think you're doing a really awesome job. And we got talking, he's just one of those guys who's really fun to hang around with, because he's just a really nice and, like, happy guy to be around, basically. Ah, oh, con physics left? That sucks. Because we need to train another one up then. Because we need them for these quests. Um... But yeah, Truth is just a really fun guy to hang out with, so I'm really happy to finally get him on the channel. Because I had so much fun recording Factorio with him. And we're already recording some more next week. I'll gladly be taught about wrestling. I like to teach everybody about pro wrestling. Because it is one of my favorite things in the world. It It is up there. Alright, good. They're getting that room ready. We're gonna need more room just for all these items. God, I forgot we needed so much freezer space. Is there any room we don't have yet that I need? I actually don't remember. We don't have a proper infirmary. I forgot we never got around to making an infirmary. Oh no, we did. What am I talking about? It's right here. It's where we're gonna kill Mariana Mambo. Yeah, we don't need a bigger one. Hmm... I mean, we have everything we need. We could just, you know, it wouldn't hurt to make more rooms. Truth's got a Discord that's pretty fun. Alright, the whole camera system is properly hooked up, right? Yeah. And this time we also have a camera right here so that the next time one of these fuckers breaks out of their cell, as long as there's a guy in the chair, everyone will get alerted that, hey, somebody broke out, everyone flood the room and get him. I don't know what what Discord thing everybody's linking. I will trust that Ash is taking care of it if things that probably shouldn't be linked are getting linked. Uh, is Mariana Mamba part of this group of people down here? It's not looking like it. 
I think she's just off somewhere else on the island. Thanks for the uh, two-month resub, Ninja Kitten. I appreciate that. Or three months, actually. That's weird. It says two on this screen and three on the other. I'm gonna guess three, because that's the one in the Twitch chat. So that's probably the more accurate one. Did she leave already? Mariana Mamba? Yeah, she's in the Middle East right now. Okay. So the safest place for us to go if we want to steal money now is Asia. Um... Well, East Asia. Oh, I was gonna say, what the fuck glitch is this? Because, no, it's a mercenary and a uh, yeah, martial artist are laying on top of each other. I was gonna say, why doesn't martial artists have grenades? That was weird. Really loud noise right outside my window and nothing's there. Uh, someone asked for your link to your Discord. Oh, don't don't I have one in the description here on the stream? I think so. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Apparently Twitch is making it soon that affiliates can have like tiered like pictures for your subscribers that show like how long they've been a subscriber for. Um, normally only partners have that. Um, I'm happy that that's coming to affiliates because that's one of those things that I don't know why, like, if affiliates can get subscribers, I don't know why they wouldn't have subscriber tier badges. That doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm happy that that's going to be a thing. Um, because I, I don't know why you'd have one and not have the other as well. That didn't really make any sense to me. Okay. We really need to get stealing some more stuff, but we don't have enough quantum physicists. And honestly, we're actually low on, like, military minions as well. We need to get more people trained up. And training's slow, unfortunately. What with people passing out. Do we have any more things in here that give or, uh, endurance? Hey guys, what loot gives endurance? Maybe we can go steal one. Oh, is that endurance or is that smarts? I think it might be endurance. It's hard to tell because of the colors. The colors are off because the room's lights are out. I think that is endurance. If so, I want it in here. Alright, good. We're getting the freezer blown open to give us more room. I think I might hear Fatima out there cooking. Man... I was gonna say, uh, I, I should text her and say like, hey, we got some butter chicken in the fridge if you wanna heat that up for us. But uh, I don't have my phone on me. I got my phone out there because uh, landlord's texting my phone to say uh, when he's coming by. So I left it in the living room so that she'd know when he's coming by. Hey muffins. I think it might take a five minute break very soon then. Uh, you know what? We're at like the halfway point of the stream about that, so now's a good time to do that. Let's take a real quick, uh, I, I guess we'll save. Let's take a real quick five minute break, everybody. Um, on the recorded version, there's gonna be no break at all. Uh, we're back, everybody. Done scared away Fatima. No, she was just, you know, closing the window. Cause turning on the AC, cause it's a really, really hot day. And she's gonna get started on uh, heating up that butter chicken. Cause I am starving. Hey, pizza fish. <laughs> You're too fucking hot today, says Ash. Thanks, Ash. I always knew you felt that way about me. All right, is that moved in here yet? Yeah. Okay, so people's endurance is going up. Good, so that's that's working. Just making sure. Training's gonna be a lot faster now that we have both attention and endurance going up in a lot of places in this room. Because those are the main things that really slow down people's training there. Okay. We have enough quantum physicists to do the next one. We don't have enough mercenaries. The mercenaries keep getting killed. It looks like things are starting to calm down back at base, though. Good smash veterans. Okay, well, those guys are absolute badasses. All right, uh, hey, Android, have I missed any super agent kills? One, we've killed Jet Chan. Jet Chan showed up, so we killed him. 
Mariana Mamba showed up for probably one full minute, or else we would have killed her. But every super agent is now active, because as you can see, we have way higher notoriety now. And we can't kill any other, uh, any other super agents either than Mariana Mamba till we get farther in the main story. And the main story is requiring us to get a lot of minions right now. And a lot of them just died due to the massive increase in the, um, what's it called? The massive increase in, uh, heat we got, causing a lot of people to show up. Has the military been Ash? That's, Ash isn't the one in the military, that's Brandon. Uh, if all things go according to plan, Brandon should be graduating from basic training on Tuesday or Thursday. There's a chance it'll get interrupted because graduation is a two-hour drill and he might have a foot injury. I think he's getting that checked out today. Um, but his sergeant said that if he is injured, he's gone through all the training, so he'll fight to try and make sure that uh, he doesn't have his graduation delayed. You know, just have him sit out the drills on graduation. And once he gets, uh, once he graduates, he'll be moving to a new town, not too far away from here actually, so he can, he can drive in on weekends. He'll have weekends off, which is important. And he's gonna start his, uh, aviation training. Cause they, uh, they want Brandon to be an, uh, aviation technician or something. He's gonna be working on planes. So, uh, that's a much cushier job than basic training in the military, which is fucking ruthless. And he had to do an extra month of that, too, because uh, he failed the starting obstacle course by less than one full second. And so they put him through another month of physical training. <sighs> Canadian military is brutal. It's rough. The worst part, too, is uh, a week after failing, they have you run through the physical thing again just to see how capable you are. And he succeeded that time by multiple seconds. And they still put him through the next three weeks of that part of the training, just because. Sucks. But in the end, he's getting a really good job out of this. That's why he said yes when they called him. Is he gets a fucking nice salary job at the end of all this training. A cushy one too, in fact he gets to freely move to anywhere in Canada at the end, which is pretty nice. That's, that's a good gig. He could move right back to Burlington and be right next to, uh, be a town next to me again. So, yeah, he thinks that- oh, and he'll have internet at his new barracks when he moves. Um, he's still gonna be living in a barracks, but he'll have his own room and he will have internet. It might not be the best internet in the world, but he will have internet so he'll be more active in the community again. Oh, fuck. What's going on? Who are you shooting? He's shooting this guy who's just working out. Fucking assholes. Oh, is he running to the infirmary? No, he's an idiot and he's running into the fight. Great. We're losing sharpshooters. Cool. Oh, that sucks. Going to the Royal Navy to be a nuclear technician on uh, the submarines. That's pretty cool. Recommend getting a new reactor. New Fraser may overload the system and you're in yellow. Uh, we're not in yellow. We're fine. Uh, freezers don't take up electricity in this game. And yellow is when the green one goes yellow. Um... This doesn't take up any extra. Weird, because you'd think a freezer would, but no, we're good. We're not even close to our limit. Yellow is within, when you're like 10% within the limit. America has a tech dog. Does Canada have a tech moose? Uh, no, you can't train moose. Uh, they are like rhinos. That and the point of an attack dog is to subdue. A moose cannot subdue. A moose will just kill you. People have this weird impression from people from countries that don't have mooses seem to have this weird impression that a moose is a big cuddly animal. No, it's like a North American rhino. Don't fuck with a moose. It'll kill you. Like it'll it'll kill you fast. We had problem we've had problems in Canada where a moose will stand on a railroad track 
and the train will get derailed when it hits the moose. A train will get derailed by a moose. That is how scary a moose is. I am the reason, if anyone wonders. Uh, if anybody knows, uh, one of the more popular mods for Civilization IV is Caveman Cosmos. The reason why the moose has a high strength in that game is because I went on a huge rant in a video I did for those developers about how the moose, how terrifying uh, moose are and why it should have higher strength. Weird little fun fact. That is why in that mod, moose have really high strength is because I explained to the developer through a rant that moose are fucking terrifying. Wakanda has tamed rhinos. Wakanda doesn't exist. Yeah, you can't you can't tame a moose. A moose isn't like a horse. Have you become the evilest of evil geniuses? Close to it. Our notoriety is very high. Your current ranking notoriety score out of 500. Didn't people in the chat say it was out of 480 before? Huh. It's a joke. Oh, of course you're joking about the Wakanda thing. I mean, obviously you're joking about that. It's a fake country. It's not real. Isn't that the, the Black Panther country? Back when your mom was alive, she hit a moose with a semi and the truck was totaled. Yep. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I don't like the way you said black. God damn it, Joe. Joe, I don't like the way that you didn't do your stats. It's a stupid fucking reference only me and Joe will get. I hope you're practicing in Warlords Battle Cry 3, because I have been. I haven't practiced in like two weeks, but I swear I did, was doing some practice before that. But you know how I am in Warlords Battle Cry. I, I have that awful habit of just, um, I, I practice and I get like, I, what I do is I make like 10 fucking characters because I'm so indecisive. And then like I train up all 10 characters. But, you know, none of them are as high a level as anybody else's characters, because I'm training fucking ten of them at once. Super busy with work? You should be super busy working on your Warlords Battlecry 3 characters. Working on getting that game to function worth a damn. Uh, Alright, let's... I think we're ready now to uh, start doing this again, but our heat is gonna fucking skyrocket doing this. And I'll just send out a couple spin doctors to help with the heat, but it's not going to do much. You know, honestly, I shouldn't even send... Eh, I'll send those ones just because they do protect a little bit, but... Honestly, our heat's going to go up so high no matter what. I'm not sure it's worth sending social minions. This is the most frustrating part of the game, if you ask me, is this mission, because you just fucking wreck... Your, uh, you wreck your notoriety doing this, or your, uh, your heat. No matter what, you're going to skyrocket your heat doing this, and then it's just going to be a massacre. I'm just happy this fucker hasn't come to the island yet. Or this fucker. Neither of those fuckers have come to the island yet, which I'm lucky about. Give it 20 minutes, they'll show up. All right, so right now we got to kill a lot of time. Muffin says, what do you think about Africa? That's a very broad question. Africa is a very large place with, with many, many countries within.
Life giving water and enter the gods. What's the big room on the left of your base? This one? This is where we're building the rocket for the end of the game. Right now, our main story thing that we're doing is we're collecting all these bins. Uh, these are the resources we need to build the rocket. Oh, are we actually... Do we, do we have permission to make these now? The game didn't tell me that I needed to click them, so I'll just uh, get those going. Alright, they're going to use up that stuff. Cool. How do you kill the other super agents? Um, it depends on which one. Uh, the next one that we can kill is Mariana Mamba. We kill her by getting her on this infirmary table. Or the examination chair, rather. And we've already done the quest associated, so we just need to bring her in here. We need to kidnap her. We need to bring her in here. And basically, we'll, uh, we'll take off all of her makeup or do some kind of like chemical reaction with it or something, and then she's hideous. And then she retires. Dirk Masters, I believe, is the American guy's name. There he is. Okay. Um, his is we dump him in a vat of acid or something. Uh, the biochemical tank. And it reacts with the steroids and makes him into a monster. Um, Katarina Frostnova is the Russian agent. Uh, with her, it's you find her childhood teddy bear and rip it up in front of her to torture her. Reverse liposuction, that was it. Uh, and um, we already killed Jit Chan, or took care of him. And John Steele, who's the James Bond one, you can't take care of until the ending of the game. But his is, you can strap him to the rocket. Um. Hey chat, remind me, isn't there a jail cell I can get that's harder to break out of? Because if so, tell me the associated uh, research with that. Because I don't remember it, but I remember there being something like that. Alright, beautiful. They are working on the rocket. Good. Alright. Boom. We are getting the ores we need. What? I like that. Alright. Our heat with Anvil is full now, because of course it is. You can get disguised holding cell. Yeah, I can make those, but those aren't any better for breaking out, I don't believe. We already have those researched, in fact. Hey! How did you slip by? Yeah, get him out of here. It's Australia fucking got myself. Yep, the hardest prison to get out of. Australia. Gotta be a really good swimmer. It's also the easiest prison to die in. Now it's supposed to tell us down here when we have enough of a resource. I'm not fucking convinced that it does. It didn't tell us we could build another one there. It didn't tell us shit. I think this uh not the best put together mission in the world. Cool, cool. They're just shooting random people like my diplomats. They're just shooting everyone they see. We're losing really good people. Man. It's a fucking massacre. I could just send a bunch of my henchmen out. Fuck it, I'm sending out some henchmen. I wish I could do this faster. I'm fucking just killing these guys. Fuck all of them. Now remember, uh... Our henchmen getting knocked down only matters 
uh, if a super agent did it. And these aren't super agents. So if they get knocked out, it will not permanently wound them in any way. He's running. Fuck that guy. Kill him. Oh god, now these guys are attacking. There, Eviscerate can one-shot these guys. There. Back in your little hidey hole. New henchman available to join the cause. Nice. That must be enough, right? I hope. I guess we'll see. Hey, Kilrain. Haven't been around in a while uh, when the recording room changes color. How long have we had the yellow? Oh, Jesus. How long have we had the yellow at this point? Uh, A year and a half? I mean... When you're saying the recording room, um, uh, I mean, if you're talking about the, if you're talking about the room specifically, a year and a half is how long I've lived here now. And I've had the foam in the background the whole time. Just not always up on the wall. Um, but if you're talking about the yellow on the sidebar and everything, like the yellow and gold stripes that's been the entire channel's motif for like three years now you know killer and i still uh you still get name dropped every single monday on the vlog yeah even if you haven't been around the whole time you get name dropped every monday and have been every monday for like two years something like that so there you go i didn't forget about you Oh, God damn it! Sorry, a wrestling joke just played through my head after I said that. Don't think I forgot about you, Big Show. Really funny hardcore Holly promo from forever ago. All right, are they still working on building that? I mean, they're building it into a fucking wall, but okay. All right, he's still carrying stuff in. I'll wait until they're finished doing all that. Because I get the feeling we might actually be done this mission, and the game just describes how you do this mission fucking terribly. Yeah, because you just put it down and then he's picking it right back up again. Yeah, to go use it in here? Yeah, okay. Why they can't just carry it directly to the destination, I'm not entirely sure. Anvil veterans, they might just attack on sight. We're at the really hard part of the game now, where most of the enemies are incredibly trigger-happy. We are not flat out of anyone, though. We almost ran out of playboys there. That would have sucked. Because it really sucks training up social minions, because they're often busy, you know, keeping people from shooting up the base. How much long is the stream going to go on for? Oh, I don't know. Um, 10 to 40 more minutes, I'll say. I think we might want to recall these guys soon. They're just getting a little bit of money while they're out there. I don't need to worry about Jet Chan showing up anymore, so stealing from Asia is a bit safer. I say Asia, but... Uh, you know, India is still under saber control. Japan is under, um... Was it Japan and South Korea are under patriot control? Here we go. Yeah. Oh, and, um... Taiwan is under patriot control as well. Yeah, it's Polynesia, China, Cambodia, Vietnam. All of them are, uh, under... What do you call it? Anvil control. Mongolia here is under hammer control, which makes sense. They were part of the common turn. How much longer is the stream? Oh, I already read that. I'm stupid. <laughs> I just saw my name and started auto reading. Still carrying shit in? Yep. Yeah. Fuck, is there a fight again? 
Okay, it's the agents of justice fighting each other, at least. Just making sure my dudes aren't getting shot up. Uh, hey, Madra, I'm starting to do live streaming. Is there any advice you can give me? Uh, yeah. When you start doing live streaming, especially if you're not already, like, super established online, and you don't have, like, a built-in fan base coming over from something else, which I know you do, YouTube. Um, fuck. Yeah, we just, just kill them. Uh, I know that you do, YouTube, so you probably have at least some people who will, like, come over and watch everything you do. Uh, I don't know how hardcore your hardcores are, but, you know goes from channel to channel um if you you know you're not always gonna have people coming into your streams sometimes you're gonna go like sometimes you might do a whole stream in which nobody's there but yourself okay rocket body's fully constructed got it so it's just a really poorly defined quest um you're gonna have times when you literally do an entire stream and nobody shows up because no one happens to find you Keep talking the entire time as if people are there. Just think out loud, basically. Like, as if it's a let's play. Treat it like a let's play. If nobody's talking in the chat, don't get discouraged. Because the worst thing that can happen is if somebody pops their head in, you're not talking, it's just you staring off playing the game, and then they leave and you never knew that somebody popped in, you know? You do have people who tune in every time? Okay, that'll help, because if they're active in the chat, that'll help keep you motivated. Um, even when things aren't very active. Because, you know, there, there are days when the chat's not active, um, even for me. And I draw, like, an absolute minimum. Like, if I stream at the weirdest of weird times with the most unpopular game, I draw an absolute minimum of, like, 20 people. And maximum, like, if I'm doing a game that's popular on my channel at a popular time, I'll get, like, 100 people. But my average is like 40, 50. Um, but yeah, uh, if anybody wants to go follow Husky, see if you, you're into his streams, then go ahead and just click him now and uh, hit a follow. And uh, maybe sometime when you see a notification, just drop on in and see if you like what he's doing. Snack. Thank you. This is not a snack, this is a meal. Snack. We're careful with our calories here in the, why did I get a spoon? You normally get a large spoon. No, I usually get a fork. Un You're the one who uses a spoon. Unfork edible. This is Fatima, everybody. This is my wife. Hello. Has uh, Dominic said anything about when he's coming by? Nope. I have both of our phones next to me. Well, I'm looking forward to him showing up during the fucking pay-per-view then. I also checked um, the hours of the bank the man works at, and mm -hmm. uh, they closed an hour and 25 minutes ago. Okay. I think maybe he's busy with other people today then. Just remember, everybody, if you uh, if you like the dynamic between me and Fatima, just know that we are doing a Let's Play Together Pokemon Emerald. If you haven't already uh, caught it, you then... You teethed my snack? Are you disrespectful? I need something to line my stomach for the, wow. the, the coffee. If you like the dynamic, just uh, know that... Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, every other week, we upload a Let's Play Together where she's the one playing. But I think I actually do need to end this stream here. Because as much as I wanted to keep going, I am absolutely starving. Uh, so thank you everybody for coming to the stream this week. I hope that you've enjoyed. Uh, tune in again tomorrow if you're watching live, uh, which is Sunday. And I will probably be doing The Awakening, but there's a chance that because of my media blackout I'm going to have to do tomorrow, that I might not be able to stream. We'll see how it goes. Um... If you're watching this on YouTube, though, then tune in on, uh, check out the description. You can find my Twitch TV link where you can watch my stream three times a week, at least. At, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern on most of my streams that are not the casual streams. No hand over mouth, I'm doing an outro. Uh, stay tuned if you're watching live, we'll go raid somebody. And until next time, have a nice day.